first of all, I would, I would like, like to invite our first team, Ashish Kumar Baghel and Chandra Prakash. They are presenting the uh, presenting their topic on life high, a special type of technology that will. We are here to give a presentation on life high fidelity. Now, what exactly is light fidelity? Light fidelity is the transmission of data through so illumination or more specifically VLC. VLC visual light communication. We have to use LEDs and light sources to uh, transmit our data. Uh, now, what is the history of this technology? This technology was first introduced in mid-90s in countries called Germany, Korea and Japan, but it remained untouched for almost a decade until Professor Harald Pohash from University of Edinburgh reintroduced it as uh, LiFi. Now, I am going to explain about the present scenario of the world. As there are, as there are many mobiles, they send the wireless data. But the, every wireless data is, most of this sent through the radio wave frequency. This radio wave frequency has many other disadvantages. Now, we can see the present scenario. Radio spectrum is get congested day by day. But the, but the, Demand of the sending of wireless data is extended very fastly. So who can replace this or substitute this? So what can carry this excess demand in future? There are a lot of, uh, lot of examples and lot of options for us. But we are discussing here uh, about the speed. Uh, we have to maintain the speed that radio waves are producing. We are, we are talking about the consumption in the radio waves and which is which results in poor efficiency. So what, what is the answer for this problem? Uh, definitely, it's only life and life and there is a belief that it can give a speed up to 10 gigabits. Now, now I'm going to explain how life I works. Before how life I works, I want to tell you that if that bulb is glowing in that room, it flickers at very constant rate, but our eye is so poor that even can't catch whether this light is flickering or not. We are, but our eyes can feel that this bulb is glowing continuously, but it flickers at a rate of 100 to 120 times per second. So, this flickering of bulbs gives an opportunity to transfer data, very good opportunity. If, the, if, uh, if that bulb is off, it transmits logical zero. If that bulb is on, it transmits logical one. So, through this, we can transmit uh, uh, data and this is the main concept of how Li-Fi works. And through this picture, you can easily understand how Li-Fi is actually going to be implemented in the real life. If you can say that, if you can, if you all can see that this printer is get connected to this bulb, and this bulb is not normally a simple bulb, but it is a Li-Fi, means a smart LED lighting. So all these devices are connected through this Li-Fi. That man is watching internet or playing the video. That data is coming from that bulb. Now there is a bigger question than that. Why only VLC? When we are talking about a lot of options, then why we are choosing VLC other than many of the spectrum they are available here? Because they have a lot of advantages over the disadvantage of other spectrum. First, gamma rays. Gamma rays can't be used because they are dangerous to us. Their radiation can, uh, can have uh, several medical issues. Access a similar kind of health problem. That's why we can't use it. We can use UV rays, but uh, it only in remote areas. Uh, as it, is, uh, it gives a uh, problem of skin cancer. We can't use it in a uh, populated area. Last one is infrared. At least we are using it at uh, lower level, but we can't use it at uh, higher level because of its lower power, which reduces its, its frequency. Uh, then we only have the VLC as an option. Now talking about the organizations which are working for the devices working on Li-Fi. We are seeing a museum technology which is incorporated by 2000 in California. It is developing various kind of devices that can be used to propagate and transmit data. It has already three devices which are patented by for using Li-Fi technology. First of all, uh, Li-Fi K4 uh, KP. It was a, it was used for microscopic purpose. Then they introduced Li-Fi 4 KP. It, it also uses UV spectrum, but not in that much uh, amount uh, that can be harmful to us. Then last of all, it introduced Li-Fi 4 KU in 2009, which is using for uh, imaging purpose and several other medical sources. Now, now the potential application of Li-Fi. Before I am going to tell this, I want you to know that Li-Fi is not replace the Wi-Fi, but it is only going to substitute at some place. So, the first application in traffic lights. If in road there are some accident, this 
then these lamps are connected through this Li-Fi and by chain reaction they sending to another lamp and at last they send to the information to the center where we can know that the accident is happen at where and when. So this is the application at traffic light. Now the second application at the safer environment. If there are some place where the radio frequency waves are harmful to use but we need to send wireless data. So where there like in at some petrochemical plants or air place we can use this Li-Fi. Now, the third application is the public internet for the spots. If we want to use uh, on a street light, on a street light at the at any place, we can use this free hot spots. If government want to give the free internet users, they can implement this Li-Fi on land where the people can use this Li-Fi. Now, last but not the least, the use of the potential application of Li-Fi on beds, on ocean beds, underwater many underwater very less waves are used to transmit data and that one of this is Li-Fi because on underwater very very few waves are used to transmit data so Li-Fi is also one of that to transmit or receive data Li-Fi on underwater so now, now what we going to conclude about Li-Fi we need the alternate way to uh, enhance the radio wave spectrum so then why not Li-Fi? Li-Fi can uh, give us numerical or uh, numerous opportunity to develop this, this technology there can be a lot of hotspots uh, like uh, he was talking about the uh, street lamps uh, convert the street lamps it also good in security purpose at uh, we know visible light can't cross right. this uh, room and hence it can be a security purpose so Li-Fi could be a better option than radio wings yeah, Any queries? Uh, can we integrate optical fiber to your Li-Fi technology? No, actually we, are, we don't have that much knowledge because it is under it, it is under it's still under pipeline pipeline code. Okay. They don't have that much information about it, and they, they the three devices I was talking about they use it. it it's a it's like a top secret project I think that uh, is not available for us. Okay. Now actually uh, Wi-Fi uh, radio waves are used for a wireless network, okay? But the uh, application of Li-Fi? So actually they are going to use uh, Li-Fi as Wi-Fi. They are going to uh, transmit. They, they are going to fit transmit with this lamp and the and the uh, and the area that is covered by this light. They are going to have this accessibility and they can have internet connections. So they are going to use it that way. So, uh, Mr. So radio waves will work like that? No sir, sir it, it transmits data through this uh, visible light means that red, yellow This type of signal it will produce? Sir, this bar is flickering continuously okay. but our eye can't catch it So, the, uh, the, we can see that the converter or the controller which we set on our Suppose we want to uh, Suppose we want to Like we are talking about Wi-Fi uh, they, they are also waves They have their uh, different spectrum types we are talking about visual light, uh, visual light because it is not harmful to us. They can use it without any kind of uh, radiation problems. So they are talking about the things like if this area is like uh, you are, you want to use computer in this place. So you are having radio waves. So we are talking about the visual radio waves. That can be a better better option because uh, almost every part of this room is covered with light. So that should be a better opportunity. Fine. And what about the range of light? So actually that is not a, uh, that I don't have that not much knowledge but uh, scientists have believed that they can be the speed up to 10 gigabits. 10 gigabits much more than uh, uh, the uh, speed 10 gigabits. Yes, the what about the range? Where, where light can reach. There is a light uh, if you want to use uh, the internet access through the VLC outside this room. That's going to be a disadvantage of this technology. But we are talking about sir, like uh, uh, alternate to it. Not, it's not going to replace it. But we are providing a substitute. 